How's it going everyone? It's Onyx here, back with another video. And today, I wanted to make a shorter video talking about Blue Arc players that I think would have been better off on the Manshine City team in the Neo Egos League. While everyone is getting hyped up over the Bastard vs PXG match, and rightfully so might I add, I can't help but think about the battle of the NEL losers, Barcha vs Manshine. It's no surprise to anyone at this point that Bacha is pretty much putting Barcha on his back, and Manshine City is underperforming considering they have Nagi, Rayo, and Chigiri. For those that haven't gone into the Neo Egoist League arc yet in the manga or just don't remember the details all that well, allow me to explain what I believe the ideal playstyle for someone on Manshine City is. Chris Prince states that the philosophy of Manshine is speed and rush, and Ego says that the England League is composed of speed and physical battles. In my opinion, this means that any player that primarily relies on their physical abilities, especially their strength and speed, would fit best into the Manshine City's team. But without further ado, Let's get into the list. The first player that I think definitely should have gone to Manshine is Tokimitsu. When Tokimitsu was first introduced to the audience in the second selection, he single-handedly ended the debate for physically strongest player, at least in terms of non-professionals. While players like Kunigami and Baro demonstrate similar, if not higher, levels of strength in Tokimitsu, those two also have other components to their game that allow them to excel in other areas. Meanwhile, Tokimitsu is more so built to charge in a straight line with the ball and blast through anyone in his path. While I could certainly see an argument being made that Tokimitsu should have other facets of his game that he can rely on rather than just his physicality, I feel like if we saw an even faster and stronger Tokimitsu, that he'd be one of the best players in the series. Another player that I feel would benefit more from playing for Manshine City is Zantetsu. Similarly to Tokimitsu, Zantetsu's main weapon is a physical ability that aligns with Manshine City's values. Zantetsu's speed, and more specifically his acceleration, is among some of the best players competing in the Neo Egoist League. If Zantetsu were to focus on honing in on improving that part of his weapon even further, I feel like we could potentially see Zantetsu being as big of a scoring threat as he was in the first selection in the early episode Nagi chapters. A player that I feel doesn't get enough love in the series is Neru Tepe. We know that Neru is a speed type defender from his limited screen time in the U20 match, and we also know that as of chapter 255 that he's gotten no love on the Bastard team. However, the Manshine City team is currently operating with an offensive core that relies on Rayo, Nagi, and mainly Chigiri since Rayo and Nagi have been underperforming heavily. However, the three defender spots are filled with a bunch of no-name players, and I feel as though Nero could certainly steal a spot from one of them. But who knows, maybe he'll end up getting some love on Bastard. A more controversial pick that I have for someone going on the Manshine City team is Kunigami. I know that he's meant to be a Noel Noah clone, and so it doesn't really make much sense for him to play on another team besides Bastard, but like, imagine the Kunigami we have right now, but Buffer. I, I, I don't know. I think it'd be a pretty funny concept. Maybe not an effective one, but a funny one. Who knows? Maybe if Kunigami was actually on Manshot, he'd actually be relevant and be scoring goals. And now, my last pick in this hypothetical, the man, the main boy himself, Asagi Yoichi. We all know by now that Asagi's biggest strength is his thinking skills and IQ, and that when it comes to physicality, the guy is one of the lowest ranking. If you took Asagi's genius and combined it with a body that could actually perform on its own, well then you just have Ren. But on steroids? Hell yeah, baby! While I do think it's a fair argument to make that Asagi's mental wouldn't improve nearly as well if he were on Manshine City's team, and that he might not even gain metavision if he didn't play for Bastard, I still think it's fun to think about Asagi being a ball-dominant threat on the field. But that's my list for now. Who do you guys think would benefit most from joining the Manshine City team? Let me know down in the comments below, and let me know if you guys want me to do a similar video like this for other NEL teams. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.